How's it going, everybody? Hope you're having a wonderful day. I wanted to bring about, you know, knowledge or point out a good little Reddit thread, a good little post somebody did that, you know, it's quite a few months old now, but for people that don't understand damage calculations in the game or how, you know, the affinity system works and how that can really influence and change how damage is calculated to a unit. I kind of want to just talk about it and I'll have a link in the description down below to show people, you know, the post that describes it. Now, obviously, like anything in Tactics Ogre, you can, whatever you pull from this information, it's complicated. You know, it's it's, it's not that simple, but it, it definitely, the, the calculations and the mathematics behind it make sense and they give you a very clear, pretty pretty accurate idea of what does what. So the main things I want to pull about the affinity system is it definitely is important to match affinity with the type. So, you know, if you're using lightning magic, you want to have a lightning as your base, or if you're using, you know, a lightning finisher, or, you know, a lightning weapon, or whatever. It's, it's definitely important for spells, probably, too. You know, very important. You don't want to put instill on unless you're doing melee attacks, because instill doesn't apply to magic. But basically... The gist of it, like a very simple version, is, you know, the, if the attacker's element is strong against the defenders, you get a 30% bonus to stat overhead, which means, you know, we'll just say it's an increase in damage. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but I don't want to, I don't want to mislead anybody or go too deep into it. I'm just going to say 30% extra damage through stats. And if you are attacked against, if you are weak, so say I'm attacking with a weak element to a defender, I lose 10% of my damage, 10% of my stats that are calculated, 10% of the stats that are calculated into damage. And usually damage is calculated by attacker strength and dex minus the defender strength and vit, you know, for physical and then magical, it's using it's using the, the mind and the re, or the res. So that's that's kind of the stat calculation. But I just wanted to say like affinity does matter. It really does, but it's not that it's not like you're getting punished that hard if you are getting hit if you're hitting somebody that's strong to you a lot of people you know they're like oh yeah if you're weak to an element you shouldn't attack that unit you probably still should because some damage is better than no damage and you're only taking a 10 percent penalty but if you are strong to that element and you are attacking you're getting a 30 percent to the stat overhead like i said is just a calculation of damage so I don't want to say like raw damage because you're it's not like if you deal 100 you'll do on 30% more and now you're doing 130 but I'm gonna have a link down below that goes over what what these people have discovered it's very helpful very useful I would definitely uh, give it a read if you're curious it's definitely got some good info in there but I just wanted to you know touch on the fact that affinity does matter but it's not like end all be all and if you're not matching constantly it doesn't mean you're you know you shouldn't attack or deal damage because i've seen a lot of people that think like if you're not playing the affinity game and you know fire attacking ice or ice attacking fire you know you're, you're silly if you're going against it you should have another unit do it and just focus on something else and vice versa and i don't necessarily think that's true because at the end of the day i think doing damage at, in, at any point is better than wasting a turn and doing nothing just to position to go attack a unit that you're going to deal slightly more damage to and that's kind of what i'm trying to say is like you know, if you're trying to prioritize that, you might be thinking a little bit too much into it. I mean, of course, do it if you want, but at the end of the day, any damage is better than no damage, so. But let me know what you guys think about the affinity system. If you do check out that, you know, post I linked down below in the description, let me know what you think about the post. Do you think it's accurate? I mean, I think it's pretty accurate. I've seen a lot of, read a lot of the comments. A lot of people seem to be on, on terms with that's how the damage and stuff is calculated with affinity. But as always, let me know down below, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, later guys, peace out, have a good one.